Hi, my name is Dr. Ross Hauser. Thank you for watching. Coming to you live from Caring Medical Florida in Fort Myers, Florida. What I want to do in the future is I'm going to actually review some medical articles that I feel are significant. And I would love it if you guys let me know articles that you think are significant. And for those of you who really want to delve into all the different things that ligamentous cervical instability cause, I think you're going to love, love these articles. A few years ago, we figured out the cause of dystonic storms. So dystonic storms are a life-threatening condition. It's like the person loses all control of their body, much like a seizure disorder. So what we did was our first patient, who's Jamie, and Jamie gave me permission to say that, we did a transcranial Doppler exam on her, which we'll talk about. And basically, when Jamie was moving a certain direction with her head, all of a sudden on the transcranial Doppler exam, it went like this. So normally when you move, the blood supply shouldn't really change. So normally a person would be moving and it would go So we were measuring Jamie, she feels fine. Then we had her hold a position, so it went like this. Then for eight seconds or 10 seconds it stopped, and then all of a sudden, Jamie, ba-boom, 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 like she, like all of a sudden, so it's like, oh my gosh, we had discovered the cause of dystonic storms. And then we're thinking like, oh my gosh, that might even be the cause of seizure disorder. Imagine how many people have different seizure disorders or movement disorders, and nobody can figure out the cause. So if that's you, definitely get an upright, a transcranial Doppler exam because geez, you'd hate to have seizure disorder that nobody figures out the cause of the cause of it when maybe the cause is that a blood flow to your brain is getting stopped by a certain motion. And if you stop that motion or you get prolotherapy or curve correction, and then you can move with that motion, the arterial supply doesn't get cut off you know, you, literally you could possibly get cured of your problem. So I wrote this article called Intermittent Cerebral Ischemia as a Cause of Dystonic Storms and Hypermobility Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome with Upper Cervical Instability and Prolotherapy as a Successful Treatment 4K Series. It's in Open Journal of Clinical and Medical Case Reports, Volume 7, the years 2021. So I'd really encourage all of you to read it because it's very, very interesting read because we know there's a lot of people with movement disorders, seizure disorders, dissociation disorders where they don't feel like they're in their body or for they can't even figure out the cause of why all of a sudden the person has impending gloom or gyrations or somebody has paroxysmal sympathetic hyperactivity where they're all of a sudden for no, they, they don't know what the reason is. They feel like they're going to die. Well, all these things can be from upper cervical instability. And one of the tests that we do in the office here is called transcranial Doppler exam, where we shoot an ultrasound beam into the various blood vessels in a person's brain, like the middle cerebral artery or the vertebral artery, or we check it in the neck. And then we see what happens to the blood flow. We had a very interesting patient that I'm still treating where they turn their head and all of a sudden they would get a seizure disorder. Like in other words, they would blank out, like totally blank out, like they're not with it. And then when you go like that, then, then, it, then the person's normal. Well, do you know what happened was they would turn their head, I, I think it's to the right, so let's just say it's to the right. Then what happened is on ultrasound exam, when they turn their head to the right, the blood supply to the left in the vertebral artery reverse. So instead of going this way, it went this way. So they basically had vertebral artery steel syndrome. So you guys could look that up. So I mean, if you're that person and the doctor diagnosed that and you've had this, this seizure disorder forever, it's like that gives you a lot of hope, like, oh my gosh. And they had extreme instability of C1, C2 that they didn't know about until watching these videos and other videos. But this is basically what it looks like. We're monitoring the pulse of the artery and the blood flow 
moment to moment. This was actually Jamie's scan where all of a sudden it stopped. Shortly thereafter, she got a dystonic storm. So when we braced her, we stopped that movement. We did curve correction. We did prolotherapy then. Basically, they stopped. And then we've had other cases. So as long as their anatomy stays good and their stability stays good, then the dystonic storms go away. And dystonic storms can be life-threatening. So I just wanted to, uh, for those who are interested, I thought this would be a good article for you guys to read and look at because there's so many ramifications of it.